everyone, this is Rich with Rich Bound Photography, beautiful Sacramento, California. And um, I don't only do high-end stuff. Um, I post high-end stuff usually. I, I certainly wouldn't post this shot. But it is a good uh, depiction of what we real estate photographers in day-to-day -day photography, real estate, we do some upper-end stuff and we also do some lower-end stuff. So this is a basic um, empty uh, townhouse like 11 square feet, 1100 square feet. Took me 32 minutes to shoot. Uh, that's a lot faster than my normal amount, but I can show you that you can shoot really fast and use these great techniques. So I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks to get this shot. Now it's nothing fancy, but it's your basic room. And this is good enough to, totally good enough to deliver in my opinion. Uh, and it took just a couple of minutes to shoot. It took me a minute to shoot and it took me a minute to edit. So what we're going to deal with is a window pull in darken mode to get this window. We're going to do another uh, trick where you could put a flash in the closet. And we all know that we can put it up on this ledge right here. But it's very difficult, as you know, to get a good looking exposure from a flash in a closet. Sometimes we can do it, but it's usually a pain in the ass. So I didn't even do it there. And what I got here is the lit shot right here which you can see I had, uh, I lit for, I exposed for the window. Um, and I was just going to try and not do a window pull because I don't really need it in this shot. But I had a reflection of the flash in the ceiling. I pointed straight up above the camera. And so I just decided instead of dealing with moving the flash around and trying to figure that out, I'm just going to do a window shot. So I've got my um, main shot here and I've got a dark closet. So to get this looking here. Here's the window. This is my window shot. And I overexposed, for darken mode, I overexposed the frame and the curtain or the shutters or whatever you want to call them. And I exposed for the window. So anything overexposed when you put it in darken mode and mask it in, as you'll see, doesn't pick up any of the frame as long as it's lighter than the layer below it. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to get this closet right here. I'm just going to take an ambient layer right here, and I'm going to expose just this. I only care about this here because that's all I'm going to mask in. But I don't have to go in there and, and change it with a local adjustment brush. I'm just going to bring it up here, a little less orange. There we go. And that's it. So all I care about is this in here. So now let me bring in my three shots. I've got my closet exposure. I've got my room exposure. And I've got my window exposure. So bring them in as layers in Photoshop. And uh, I'll tell you right now, I was shooting at f8, ISO 320, and both the window shot and the lit shot were was 1 30th of a second. So that's my, my settings. I was using a Sony A6000 mirrorless with a Sam Yang, same as a Rokinon 12 millimeter. Great combination. Really stoked with this cheap camera. It's just wonderful. Okay. So I'm going to turn off the, uh, the closet layer, and I'm going to turn off this and look. Okay, so we have our window layer here. So I'm going to put my window layer above the room layer. So we have the room layer on the bottom. We have our window shot here. So I'm going to now hold down Option on a Mac, Alt on a PC, and add a new layer mask, okay? So all I have to do now, I've got my paintbrush on white, and I've got a soft brush. I'm just going to use a soft brush now, but I'm going to raise this up to 100%. I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little better what I'm doing. And in darken mode here, put it down to darken. Now, because the layer below it, is overexposed here and underexposed here. Oh, I just have to paint it in. Look at that. Cool, huh? Never get tired of seeing that. Okay, so there we go. Now, let's bring down the closet layer. Turn it on. Okay. 
Now I'm going to hold Option and add another layer mask, and I'm bringing in a layer mask there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, select my polygonal tool because it's going to be easier in the long run for me just to paint it in after I make a selection. And somehow I think there's an easier way to do this, but I don't know it, how to do it. Again, I'm always joking that I'm the last guy in the world that I thought would ever be teaching Photoshop. Okay, so let's put this back here and let's put in 4% flow because I just want to paint this in and I'm just going to go a little bit out. There we go. Okay, let's just paint this in a little bit. Get rid of that shadow. Here we go. Right there, right there, right there. Okay. And I'll take that over a uh, flash exposure anytime. Actually, it's Eh, it's kind of crappy job. You can see here. I could probably spend a zillion hours getting it better. But anyway, so just want to show you what that did. Okay, here's without it. And here's just masking in a little bit of that. Could probably have gotten a little less orange, but you know what? You could spend as much time as you want, but this room does not warrant much time. It's uh, right above a bathroom <laughs> on my list, a little bathroom. Anyway, this is Rich Baum Photography saying signing off and uh, have a great day and uh, leave a comment. I always like your comments. And a couple of people have commented that uh, I'm really making a difference in their workflow. They're shooting better and faster and smarter. So anyway, send me a message. Let me know what you want me to do. Talk to you later. Bye.